previously on building Benny's movie park. And just like so, layer by layer, I will be adding a bunch of roof tiles. And right here, let's put some of these little plants to finish that off. I do want to have another tiny tower connected to it right here, something like that. Now let's get a tree and put it on there like that, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2. Today, we are going to finally finish the Skull Island area. Can you believe it? After all this time, after all these episodes, it's finally going to be done. And to be fair, it's about time because it's it's been enough. I made a short list of stuff we need to finish here. And once we did, we can move on to the next area. The absolute most important thing right now is the name of this coaster. We still haven't decided. So let's see. Skull Crusher. That's the name that's been requested the most. I know it's a dragon from How to Train Your Dragon, but it just, it's a cool name. And a lot of people seemed to want that. So let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop to make a very nice sign. Here we are. Let's go and type skull. We need a very cool badass font of some sort. Maybe this could be pretty cool. Or this one, yes. Then we make sure it kind of folds with the shape of the sign. Now this is an indication. It's not exactly this, but this should be close enough. I do think for this white would be the best because, you know, it's on wood. You know what? Let's just not make it too complicated. This should be fine. And now that we're at it anyway, let's go and make the menu thing for the restaurant as well. Basically just a very tiny sign like this. And this is simply going to be placeholder text because why the hell would I put effort in actually writing this? I think I have much better things to do actually. Besides, it's going to be super small. Here I will put menu though so you can read at least that. Everything you could possibly want in one restaurant. And let's make that yellow like the logo. Beautiful. Then let's remove the background and now we simply have to save it. Finally, there is the Skull Crusher sign on the side, which uh, is going to explain some stuff about the actual ride. I'm afraid here we are going to have to type some actual stuff because you will be able to read this. And eh, never mind, I'll just put down some placeholder text again because... Uh... And again, let's save this one as well. So now we simply have to upload them and see what happens. For some reason, I can't uh, select my own decals right now. So, uh, very annoying. Let's move on to the next thing until it works, I guess. Now we have to make this Ferris wheel entrance look a bit nicer because this clearly is trash. Right here, I'm gonna add some stairs reaching for the ground and then the same thing on the other side. This, as you expected, is not accessible for NPCs, but I feel like I just want, I want stuff to be pretty, right? And when it needs to be accessible, you need to use actual paths and that just looks not so nice. So that's why I decided to just do it like this. Let's go and paint this so the whole thing looks a bit, uh, you know, more classic. There you go. And then around the whole thing, I will replace the fences with these uh, wooden ones. Look a bit nicer, just like so. See, that is already a lot better. And maybe even another layer of these black ones on top of it. That has kind of a nice look as well. Uh, I'm going to add some of these quarter circles to actually make some sort of cue on the ground here. And a very tiny little simple fence around it. And done. Guys, I found a way to still add these decals. Let's see. We just have to use add by ID and then enter the actual ID. Enable transparency and there you go. Perfect. You can actually read it still. Well, let's hope nobody is going to. Then let's head over to this spot right here and enter the Skull Crusher ID. Yes, dude, check that out. <laughs> and then finally the info card for this one. Let's see what that looks like. There you go, that's a lot better. Thankfully that actually works. Now let's move on. Right here, let's just add a bunch of props like uh, these barrels, for example, and maybe a few of these crates as well. Then right here, I thought it'd be fun to make like a food stall, but not a default one, like an actual nice one. So I guess let's go ahead and do that. Something like this should be fine for the base plate. That's kind of the size it's going to be. And the door is going to be tilted this way. And now just like this, I am simply going to build um, some sort of tiny building, shop-like building. On the corners, let's put these tiny support-like thingies. And some of these poles as well. I feel like this could end up being pretty nice. And this is where the coffee is going to be standing on. Because I think a coffee shop is like, well... Not a coffee shop. A shop where you can get coffee <laughs> is uh, seems nice, so let's do that. In here, I'm going to build a shelf so we can uh, store some actual coffee and pots and stuff there. And then I'm going to make the roof, or at least the top of the building. I'm not sure how the roof is going to look, but I guess we'll see soon enough. And then this right here is going to be the beautiful coffee sign. And in here, let's put a door. 
just like that beautiful and right here maybe we can put one of these arches for some extra style points there you go and then make this a bit higher as well all around just all the way up and fill it up with the yellow stuff and then on here it's going to say coffee also Beautiful. This, however, I want to be wooden planks instead. There you go. Then the roof right here, I think, would be cool if it's a red. Just like that. Maybe not wooden planks, though. Just like this. Wooden seems the best. Here, we're gonna have some piled up plates for no reason at all. And, of course, some pots. It's also a genius idea for a coffee shop. Someone actually made the Starbucks logo, the classic logo. Let's actually just put that on there. <laughs> Let's put the logo in it. Do you have to enable transparency, though? Yes. Dude, that's actually great. What the heck? <laughs> and then we can give it some depth using a very simple cylinder. There you go. I can't believe someone actually uploaded that logo. What if we just wrote coffee using uh, literal primitives? Like, it seems a bit dumb, but I mean, we can actually do it just like this. There's the C and an O. See, this is not actually even so bad. Coffee. I mean, there's a bit of an open space here, but I guess that's not too bad. We can also just make this a bit shorter. Not a big fan of the color, though. Let's just make this white. In here, let's also put some light orbs for some really soft light. There you go. Nice and simple. And something to hold them up like so. Even the simple stuff like shops, I'm putting way too much effort in, like seriously. And I may as well also make some of these very simple stools so people can actually, uh, you know, sit here if they would want to. And finally, to finish this off, some simple windows on the sides or really flaps, actually. Here, I'm going to make a very tiny little plant. And then in general, on the sides, I do want to put a bunch of vegetation to kind of hide the edges. So let's put down a bunch of bushes in this little corner here and maybe even some small trees as well just like this and you know what let's put this stuff on the roof as well because i feel like that would look pretty cool and well i think that is then pretty much it for this little coffee uh shop later i will probably add an employee there but right now let's move on to the next thing wouldn't it maybe be fun to put one of these fountains here as well? The same one that I put here, just in the middle there? Yes, I do have to put some stuff around it though. Yeah, just like this. Pretty nice, just a little bit of, uh, you know, filling up this uh, space right here. Now, even though there are technically no NPCs gonna be walking around here, or well, at least maybe here there will be, let's put down some trash cans. There you go, because of course we do want this park to be sanitary. We can't have a bunch of people just throwing stuff on the ground. That is unacceptable. So let's just put a bunch of these trash cans here and there. People have a lot of trash, so we're gonna make sure we have enough. Then something else that is very important is seats. Benches. Places for people to sit on. The original benches are all on grid, which is something that I hate because I want to have them tilted and, you know, cool stuff. So let's make some custom ones. Don't act so surprised. You could have seen this coming. Let's just do something like this. Just like that. And that's a beautiful bench. Now let's go and paint it. The sides are going to be a bit darker than the other stuff. And this is going to be a bit lighter. There you go. That is a pretty nice looking bench and it's really easy to make. Now the task is up to me to put these uh, here and there in this area and then that should be golden. I'm not gonna show you all this because you know how this goes so I'll see you in a few seconds. Then ladies and gentlemen I thought maybe it's a good idea if we make the colors of the ferris wheel the same as the coffee uh, shop since they're in the same kind of square. Let's uh, let's try and do that. So let's say we make this white instead and the seeds have to be that same red color. There you go. And then we just need a bit of that gold in there as well. Maybe we can even do the same thing with this fountain here. Dude, that is actually way nicer. And now that we're busy anyway, let's also make these fences red because then everything here kind of makes sense color wise. I have an idea. What if we put that Starbucks logo on the Ferris wheel as well? Mm. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of nice, but it just makes zero sense. Why would there be a Starbucks logo on a Ferris wheel? We're just gonna leave it there because it does look kind of funky. What's next then? Ah, yes, very important. We need lights. As you can see here, there is light, but uh, once you walk this way, you cannot see a single thing. So let's change that. First off, just like the other fountains, I'm going to need a spotlight in here. Let's see what that does. See, makes it nice and blue, nice and shiny. And then I guess we're gonna have to come up with a design for the uh, lampposts right here. Let's make this black. Let's make these dual lampposts. That seems very cool, just like so. Very simple, yet pretty effective. Okay, so here I have now one, two, three, four. Let's go to the next area. Here we want something a bit more Skull Island-ish. So let's go with wood instead. Let's just make these go up. What if we just did this with like a sphere and then of these under it? Very simple, that is. And 
let's make the sphere nice and warm. There you go. Let's see what that looks like when it's night. I actually like that. That's not too bad. You gotta remember sometimes, sometimes less is more. 12 seconds later. Or what if we did this like that and then simply rotate it like this? That is actually super unique as well. Let's do that. When I just said less is more, he goes for more. Nice. Now we just have to do that same thing a bunch of times over again. Okay, so those are a bunch of uh, lanterns, lampposts, whatever. Then now I'm gonna add some spotlights because the mountain, for example, is completely dark. That's kind of lame. So let's go and grab a spotlight and kind of see what we can do with that. Here you go. Let's increase the range so it goes a lot further. And the color, let's see. Maybe we can make this. That is pretty cool. Then we also have to set it to off during the day because this is going to look weird when it's daytime. Okay, so that's done. Let's put it in here so you don't see it that clearly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Stuff like this, we just have to add all over the place. Let's go and put one here as well. And of course, we're also going to need one that shines on Kong himself. This one, however, I want to be reddish orange. There you go that is one what happens if we just put one on his shoulder here does it make him yeah well dude there you go <laughs> okay so those all turn off during the day that's good then here i want one that's shining onto the tower from this side the tower the mountain i mean and that i think is also better if it's yellowish and the tunnel i want to keep dark because for some reason that just i don't know i just like that there you go this is looking very cool, actually. To make this waterfall right here very nice and vibrant, I'm also gonna put one in here. Same thing I did with the fountain. Hopefully, this will make it look very nice. Oh, there you go. Yes, that is actually so great. And also one right there, which is going to light the castle. Dude, this is so cool. And well, as you can see, most of the stuff is now lit. There's no real dark areas anymore. Maybe in here. Oh, no, wait, there's light in here as well. But that means that this whole area, the Skull Island area, is now officially completely finished. It's been a long time coming. Let me show you everything we built here in a nice cinematic kind of montage. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a single video. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2.